and welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I'm your host, Demo, and this is sort of a special video I'm doing, and I honestly don't even know what I'm going to call it. it. It's really off the cuff. Uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about uh, some of the interactions I've had with people in the comments section. I, I try to react as much as I can and, and answer people's questions and stuff. And of course, you're always going to get the detractors, right? The people that are completely disagree with your opinion and all of that. Um, there's one in particular, though, that really goes to the heart of what my channel is all about. I'm not going to call out this guy by name. I, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody or something. I just want to make a point of it, okay? This is on my Orvar, the all form sort of spoiler video, which of course wasn't really a spoiler video much at all. Um, I really went in depth into sort of the direction that the format was going. And I, you know, I might have overreacted slightly to some of the more powerful commanders that were coming out in call time. I don't know if they'll have as much of an impact as I thought that they originally would, it, you know, but I did talk a lot about the fact that there was so many commanders coming out and it was really overwhelming and it was just too much all at once, I felt. But also in that video, I talked about how Mistform Ultimus, which was one of the first commanders I played against in the format, and I just loved the idea of taking a underwhelming and, you know, like, what do you do with that, right? You see that and you go, well, what do I, how do I build a deck around that, right? And the guy I was playing against, obviously, I, I, you know, I'm not saying he came up with that idea, but when I saw that, it really sort of made me excited about the format where you could take a, a commander like that and figure out a really neat way to use it. That's what I really loved about it, okay? And, you know, Orvar being a four CMC commander with the exact same casting cost as Mistform Ultimus, also a 3-3, also has change, basically has everything that Mistform Ultimus has and so much more, sort of meant that Mistform Ultimus was obsolete, but obviously you can still play it, right? It's not like you could just you have to take your Mistform Ultimus deck apart necessarily. However, you can just straight up switch out. If you had a Mistform Ultimus deck, you could just swap it out for Orvar and be perfectly fine and, and have all those other abilities on top of it. However, there is an interaction I had with a guy. Um, he commented on the video, and this is really one of my videos that really sort of, I think, garnered a lot of attention for my channel. And one of the comments from this guy who will remain nameless, I don't want to call him out necessarily. This is just a point I want to make about what this channel is all about. So here's what he said. There wasn't any reason to run Ultimus before. What changed? You were already knowingly avoiding better options by choosing to run Ultimus. That comment to me is exactly everything that I don't like about, uh, you know, sort of the mentality and the format. Basically what he's saying is, why would you ever play it before? It was already bad. So why would you play it, right? Um, which I just can't stand that, you know. What I love about the format is that you can take something that is maybe less appealing and make a really good deck out of it. That's everything that I'm all about in this format. The reason I'm doing this now is because I was kind of thinking, you know, that really is for all of my new subscribers. I probably had, you know, 300 subscribers when I made this video. For all my new subscribers, I've had a lot of people join and say, wow, you know, this is the kind of stuff that the format really needs or the community really needs. Really interesting, unique deck ideas. Everyone's doing the same thing. And yes, thank you. That is exactly what I'm going for. I've had a lot of people give me grief about my cyclonic rift isn't as good as you think or talking about how Ristic study maybe isn't as good as you think. There is a million videos out there telling you about how great cyclonic rift is and how great Ristic study is. We don't need more of that, right? The, the commander community does not need more people telling you about what are the best cards in the format, I don't think. I'm, I'm trying to be the sound of the other hand clapping, all right? If you ever heard the phrase, beware the sound of, of one hand clapping, right? It means beware the sound of a one-sided argument. There's always another side to the argument. So I'm trying to tell people, maybe Cyclonic Rift isn't as good as you think, all right? I'm not saying you shouldn't play it. You should, it's great. Maybe it's not as good as you think. Maybe you shouldn't be putting Ristic Study in all your blue decks. Maybe it's not an, an auto-include and here's why. There certainly is enough auto-includes in this format now that we don't need more of them, right? I'm not saying it's wrong. People can do as they like. You want to make a super optimized deck, go ahead. You want to play CEDH, go ahead. People can do as they like. I'm just trying to give, I am the sound of the other hand clapping, okay? I'm trying to give people another view to, to take their opinions from, right? I'm not saying anyone's necessarily right or wrong. 
This channel though, for me, is all about giving people another option, maybe that everyone else isn't talking about, right? You know, when I did my Commander Legends uh, deck techs, I, you know, they weren't getting a lot of views and they probably weren't getting a lot of views because I wasn't doing the popular ones. It's really easy for a channel to do whatever the most popular commander is in the new set. Let's do a deck tech on that and it's going to get lots of clicks. I'm just not going to go down that road. I don't think it's needed. I'm trying to offer to the community what isn't there. I'm going to do the, the commanders that people aren't talking about. Maybe it's not going to get as many clicks. I don't care. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to get clicks. I'm not here to get likes. I'm just here to offer something. I'm here to offer my expertise. I think I have an expertise that I'm offering to the community. You know, I'm filling a void. So, you know, there's a, there's a, a space there, I think, that can be filled and certainly I would be right in my assumption given how uh, much my channel has grown over the last couple months. And, and so that's what I'm offering. I'm, I'm just offering something that isn't there, okay? If it's not for you, that's fine. You know, um, I'm sure there's lots of Golos deck techs out there. Um, but for all the people that want a general Jarkel deck tech or, or people that want a Shaku Endbringer deck tech, this is sort of what this channel is all about. So that being said, okay, this isn't just a rant for me. This is, um, you know, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, which is I'm, I'm starting a new series of videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a poll. And I've had a lot of people say, hey, you should have a poll or you should have people vote on, on commanders and whatnot. And yes, I, I, I'm i sort of formulating a plan here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a poll and I will have a poll for this video. The link will be in the description below. You're going to go there. You're going to vote. I mean, you can <laughs> if you want to do whatever you like. If you want to vote, you go there and there will be some commanders there and you will vote on the one you want to see a deck tech on. Here's how it's going to work. There's going to be the top five, okay? So the top five commanders in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick rundown of five commanders, okay? So the top five, and of, the, of course, they're all going to be very underwhelming. And it's going to be exactly what this guy doesn't like. The, the commander's like, why would you ever play that, right? It's going to be commanders like that, okay? And the top five, I will do a quick rundown on, like I typically do in my requested deck tech videos, right? I'll just say, you should be doing this. You should. This is how you, the direction you should go. Here's some cards you should be playing. The top vote getter, right? So the, the deck that gets, or the commander that gets the number one amount of votes, I will actually make a deck list for and post that in the description, okay? So that will be on the next video. I'll let the poll run for a week or whatever. I don't know. Also... From now on, like all the suggestions I have uh, for the commanders are just ones that I picked, ones that I've seen people ask about. After that, it's going to be whatever you guys suggest. So in the comments of this video, okay, comment however you like, you know, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. But then also add a commander that you would like to see, okay? And I will take those suggestions. I'll just tell you right now, though, I'm not going to take the popular ones. I'm just not. If you're asking for a deck tech for really popular commanders. I just don't think that's necessary. I don't think my time is best spent on commanders for which there is already tons of stuff out there. Like I'm just not going to do a Korvald deck and I'm just not going to do a Yarok deck. And a, you know, I, I just think there's so much stuff out there already that I don't think that I really need to. I could do an interesting take on it, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. I just think that my time is better spent doing underwhelming commanders so how it's going to work is you make a suggestion i'll take those suggestions i'll make another poll then you'll vote on those and then on the following video right and then going forward that's how it's going to work it's going to be you vote on the poll for a video and then on the next video is going to be those particular decks right so it's going to be top five I talk about four of them, and then with the fifth one, the top vote getter gets an actual deck list. You know, if you don't know what's popular and what's not, you're new to the format, go to EDH Rec and check out, you know, the popularity of each commander. I'm just putting some limitations on it, right? Um, because that's what I think is needed. I'm trying to fill a void in the community. I'm not saying I'm the only one. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and toot my own horn and, and talk about how maybe I'm the only one who's doing that. You know, there, there are other people out there that are making obscure deck techs and stuff and great, good for them. I will continue to do so. To me, that's my favorite part of, of Commander. That's really what made me gravitate towards it is this idea of let's try to make it work. I got a really underwhelming, obscure commander, and I'm going to try to build a deck around it. I just really, really love that. So that is it for today. Just sort of a rant, <laughs> you know, 
Uh, it, was, it was sort of a rant. And then on top of that, I'm sort of introducing this new format of videos that I'll be doing from now on. It, it's sort of taking the place of my, just rather than doing these random requested deck techs, it's sort of taking the, the, the place of that. So uh, yeah, that is it for today. And thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm.